Mutation. It is the key to our evolution. Every few thousand years, we- No! Stop! What in the actual ass? Dale! Why- why- why are the visual effects not done? It's not like we're trying to remove a mustache! Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll do it myself. Hey guys, it's me, Flex here, back at you guys with an Arcana book unboxing and review, and today- Hold on, I, I just woke up, so I just need my- I need my go-go juice. Best soda that exists. Give me that fucking sponsorship. I decided to do something a bit different. The first of these four books arrived yesterday. Well, not yesterday, two days ago. And it was beaten up. So I'm going to try and get that book fixed. And if not, probably replace it. But um, the binding was a little bit messed up. And it was The Devil by Poston and Duggan Omnibus. But these other books are okay. Hopefully their packaging is good. So I'm going to rely on that. But they are the two Wolverine Origins hardcover complete collections and Deadpool Classic Omnibus Volume 1. Uh, yeah, but without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. This is Wolverine Origins Book 1 probably, so I'm going to start off with that one. I wanted to do Wolverine and uh, Deadpool because I haven't got- because I don't have a lot of like X-Men related books or mutant related books or Deadpool books. But uh, I am really excited to read those because they are the best. Also, um, if you're wondering why this might take forever is because the Sword of Ashanti broke when I was trying to unbox that Deadpool book. And I decided not to record it because it was not worth the time. But these hopefully are. Yep, this is Wolverine Origins Book 1, and if you recognize this cover, it is, he does have the Bone Claws. I'm guessing in the second Wolverine Origins book is where he gets the Adamantium Claws. That or in Daniel Way's or Wolverine Origins collection. I really love Hugh Jackman's portrayal as Wolverine, so I want to compare it to his role because they say it's the most perfectly cast Wolverine and the most comic accurate Wolverine, so I'm really excited to see how that plays out. And I'm really excited because um, I also want to compare these two X-Men Origins Wolverine and like watch the movie again and compare it to that. Because I think those movies are actually based on Daniel Way's Wolverine Origins books. I'm not sure. All right, so uh, we got this one open and uh, this is very epic. You do see he's got the bone claws, which is pretty awesome. And on the back, I'm guessing this is a family relative. This is Logan, and this is someone else. I have no idea who it is, but because I hear this is actually one of the best Wolverine tellings of all time. But oh, that's epic. We do have like, like Logan with like a wolf or a Wolverine. That's pretty awesome, which is where he gets the name. All right, here's some of the art inside. That is actually pretty epic. I really do enjoy the art, and we do see Logan and some person. I have no idea who that is. The art is really amazing. I am deeply in love with it. Uh, uh, let's read the back. Marvel's best kept mutant mystery revealed. Before the X-Men, before Weapon X, Wolverine's struggle with his subconscious savagery first flourished in family tragedy. Some of Marvel's most acclaimed creators unite to tell the tale that shaped mutant Dom's mightiest misfit, collecting Wolverine Origins number one through six. All right, so uh, yeah, that is really awesome. Let's move on to book two, which is the sequel to this. Okay, again, we've got it in like this sort of style. Um, another piece of paper, which I'm guessing is just a receipt. By the looks of it. Yep, it's a receipt. All right, let's see. Yeah, this is Wolverine Origins book two, and by the looks of it, he either does still have the bone claws, or this is where he gets the adamantium claws, because this does look pretty epic. Yeah, this collects Wolverine Origins book two, number one through five, and it's by Kieran Gillen, who, if you didn't know, is the person who did um, who did my Eternals who does who did my Eternals run. Um, this one, like. Um, uh, I can't remember the name, but it's uh, Thanos Rises uh, and Born Out of Love. Just gotta remember. Future me, please put them up. Uh, I, I I just woke up. My memory is garbage. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty epic. And yeah, we do have like a, a bunch of Wolverines or wolves back here. I don't know the difference. Uh, Future me, please put the difference. Let's just get this out of the way because this is becoming a nuisance. All right, yeah, um, 
I'm guessing on the back, because this doesn't really look like Logan, I'm guessing this is Sabretooth, who is his brother, actually, um, according to the movies. You right! I love how on the inside it's like, um, it was the story they said could never be told, but Origin was only the start. You ain't seen nothing yet, bub. God, I'm, I'm glad that they redid that line in like the first X-Men movie where they, or, or X-Men or Origins of Wolverine, where they, where he was able to call somebody bub. That was pretty epic. I didn't call him blob, I said bub. Like that, but yeah, let's read the back. The next chapter in the story of the man who will be Wolverine. In his short life, Logan has already seen such suffering. Little wonder the boy who was once James Howlett sought sanctuary in the frozen wilderness. Far from humanity, just him and the wolves. Hunting, surviving, finally living. But when tragedy strikes his adopted home, Logan is forced back into the world and he's about to discover how truly cruel it can be. For civilization make masks monsters far beyond those found in the wild. Ruthless men like Hugo Haversham, who exploit Logan as a circus freak, friends like the sinister Dr. Essex, prepare to carry out torture beyond imagine, imagining the name, in the name of science, and perhaps worst of all, another mu very much like Logan, a fellow mutant whose nature is torn between man and animal, once one who could be his greatest ally or his fiercest foe. When Logan meets Victor Creed, a rivalry of the ages is born. Yeah, Victor Creed is is uh, Sabretooth. I, I could tell because like he does have those teeth right here. Yeah, and Logan doesn't. But um, that was pretty epic. Uh, let's see the art inside. Oh yeah, that is pretty epic. We did we do see um in part three like this very epic cover of like him in the cage i don't know if these are still his bone claws no these are his adamantium ones i think and so i'm guessing like during in during this one uh he does get the adamantium claws <laughs> we got deadpool and then all of a sudden deadpool with the sausages and the other deadpool doggies uh dogpool i think his name was you right i think we're gonna get him in like the third in like the third deadpool movie which would be pretty epic the art is amazing. Uh, it fits the story of Wolverine. Uh, so does this one especially. Um, maybe I'll collect like the Daniel Way hardcover of the Wolverine Origins. There are like 11 of those books or like six of those books. But I'm really excited to collect them because I heard such great things about Daniel Way's work of Deadpool, Venom, and Wolverine. He's a great, he's a great writer. I forgot condensation, uh, condensation was happening and this almost slipped out of my hand. Dr. Pepper, if you spill on this, I'm coming after you. So finally, we got the Deadpool Classics Omnibus. This isn't his origins. This is some other stuff. But I'm really excited to see this. What? What? Did they seriously just... Hold on. Let me see if I can show you. If I can show you. Let me take off the address first. But take a look. It's just wrapped in paper. Corporate needs you to find the differences between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. I'm hoping this is in good condition, because so far the omnibus of Deadpool luck I've had is near zero. Okay, thank God they wrapped it in cardboard and, ha and had some packaging. There we go. I really should use scissors when I'm doing these. Good content. Special for you guys. My stuff. See if I can get this out. You're stuck on something, aren't you? This is my Doctor Strange by Donnie Kate's book all over again. I can't open it. There we go. There's one. Oh, yeah, we do got Logan on here, and, uh, Bullseye, apparently, right here. And we got Death, which is pretty awesome, and, uh, do we have Thanos on here? Because I know Thanos has a thing for Death, and Deadpool ends up dating her. <laughs> I love on the back where you see all the issues. There's a Deadpool, there's a, is that right? Yeah. There's a joking Deadpool as G.I. Joe, because the guy who made Deadpool, uh, Rob Liefeld, did a bunch of Snake Eyes issues or like uh, did a bunch of G.I. Joe stuff and based Deadpool off of a joking version of Deathstroke, but also some of his movements and stuff off of Snake Eyes, which is pretty awesome. 
Okay, so, uh, let's see. This collects uh, Deadpool 1997 issue 34 through 69, Black Panther 1998 number 23, Agent X number 1 through 15, which is basically Wade. Is this his origin or something? Uh, Fight Man number 1 and material from X Men Unlimited number 28. 54 issues in this book. That's pretty epic. Uh, Agent X, yeah, I'm guessing this is when, like, he is, like, training and stuff and then before he ends up getting his mutant powers so maybe this does have something to do with his origins yeah so this is before he turned into a pepperoni flatbread like a testicle of teeth you will die alone if i mean if you could die ideally for others sake that'll do all right uh let's see let's read the back making mischief with loki crossing paths with black panther losing his own book to agent x dying twice ha <laughs> Classic Deadpool. Now yeah, let's uh, open this bad boy up and see what's inside. Ooh. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, I was right. Thanos is infatuated with death and he is trying to um, exploit him up with Deadpool. Spoiler alert, I already know this, but a lot of Deadpool fans will know this, that uh, Thanos basically made Deadpool immortal so he can never be with death ever. And <laughs> the final words as, as they had to leave each other, it was just like... This must be so hard for you. And then death comes and whispers into his ear. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what she whispers into his ear. We do have Vanessa. If you didn't know, Vanessa has mutant capabilities to like change her appearance, 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 appearance and anything. Kind of like Mystique. I'm not sure. I'll fix the post in and dug in Deadpool on this and probably show you guys that. But my God, that, that guy scammed me but uh yeah this really looks really epic all these books so far except that one uh i've already collected all the issues in that um in the omnibus book i just wanted to collect the omnibus edition but um yeah the uh it, yeah the story for that one was 10 out of 10 the packaging is just garbage but these books right here are amazing they are 10 out of 10 the packaging was perfect i really enjoy them so much but uh, yeah, that is really epic. I'm gonna put this to the side because I do have a very specific side note I wanted to tell you guys about because in my last video where I did my thing where I went to Barnes and Nobles, I actually ended up doing this while buying these books is I bought the 30th anniversary of V for Vendetta and I have it in an art cover now. So yeah, I, I got this, but I, if you wanna see, cause this is the exact same as it is in the book, as in the paperback edition, it has the same stuff on the back. If you wanna see that, go check out uh, my unboxing of it. It will be in the description below. It's with a few other books, but I'm really excited to read this again because it was such an amazing story. But uh, yeah, um, that's my little sign out. But other than that, that's pretty much the video. So uh, yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me and please just subscribe subscribe to my friends their channels are in the description down below please make sure to subscribe to me it really help out the channel a, a ton and until next time i will see you guys in the next video bye